Hey Libras, I see you. It's Prado G and I'm here with the general collective reading for your sign. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming through and clicking on this video. Your support is highly appreciated and I do pray that that vibe and that energy is as high as the appreciation level is for you being here, right? If your birthday is between, mm, almost said the wrong month. If your birthday is between September 23rd and October 22nd, then you, my lovely friend, are a Libra, a legendary Libra, a legit Libra, the sign of balance, the sign of justice, charm, very charming energy, the persuasive, so persuasive, shout out to my Libras, we're going to jump into this reading, starting off with this significant number, don't forget that this is general and collective, so some things may resonate for you while other things may not, take what resonates for you and leave behind what doesn't, okay, let me get a drink of water, I've been talking a lot. Make sure y'all getting y'all water too. What that whistle? All right. Ooh, that was horrible. That was a horrible whistle. Anyways, let's jump straight into this reading, starting with the significant number. Yay. Okay. This number 11 just keeps showing up in the readings. 11 is, yeah, this is definitely giving me that balance energy of your sign, Libra. Balance, even, reciprocal vibes, right? Justice. You know, being what's fair for the goose is good for the game. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I don't know if y'all ever heard that saying before, but the number 11 could be very vital or important to you. The month of November could be significant. Also, I feel like somebody could be in the 11th grade um, or have an 11-year-old child for whatever reason that that's standing out or poking out to me. But the number 11 is a master number. It comes after 10, but it reduces to number two. So definitely feeling the energy of like a relationship, a connection between two people coming together. Like maybe you coming together with somebody or a friend to create something great, something that's going to bring some sort of security and stability, something that makes you feel comfortable and confident and stable. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. Stability, like two legs, Th those uh, this 11 is giving me two legs, like standing on your own too, period. Um, and that's another vibe I'm getting with the root chakra energy is about being able to stand on your own too without needing someone else to necessarily be there to hold you up. But uh, I don't know, you know, you might need somebody to lean on every once in a while. So that's not a problem. You always have that option as well. But make sure that you are loving yourself and putting yourself first and you are secure and confident in who you are with or without a person, right? The energy of duality, though, the masculine and feminine energy showing up in here. But I'm seeing red energy. Somebody could be, mm, I was going to say, on their menstrual. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm feeling that. Maybe 11 days ago. But yeah, or coming up in 11 days. But yeah, it's like, I feel like this is the energy of realizing that you have more options than you know, Libra. You have options. But definitely keep yourself balanced and stable within your energy, rooted, well-rooted and grounded with this number 11. If your birthday is October 11th, shout out to you, or October 2nd, period. This reading could be very significant for you. All right, let's get into the basis of this reading for my Libra. What's the basis of this reading? What does Libra need to know? And what's going on in that energy? We got grief in reverse. So I feel like somebody definitely has lost something, but it's like you're overcoming grief or needing to. And forgiveness is showing up as well. We got completion. Yeah, definitely giving the vibe of somebody passing away. Hmm, or some sort of old partnership or some phase of your life is now over. And it's like, this is the energy of completion, making sure that you still feel complete and whole, regardless to what has ended, whatever has come to an end, whatever died off. If it was a person, someone that you love, I feel like this could be your grieving time and period for some of y'all. You're just grieving this ending, whatever it is that ended for you. I'm also seeing a pet here too. So somebody could have something very near and dear to their heart that they lost Libra. It could have been something that you really cherished or held tight or close to you. Someone, a connection with something here. And I really feel like it was a partner. It could have been a partner, especially with this 11 showing up. One plus one equals two. Because baby, we ain't got nothing without love. So make sure that you are loving yourself so that you can always have something that you always feel good. And I understand sometimes when someone that you really love 
or something that you really loved is no longer here, you're going to grieve naturally. But I feel like you're overcoming it because you're super strong and you're regaining your balance. But it could still be affecting you to a degree. Make sure that you are living in forgiveness too. Um, you know, the energy of forgiveness is very important for whatever reason that this cycle ended. Like if you had to leave somebody or cut somebody off to Libra, I'm um, seeing the energy of something is going to have to be forgiven in the future. Somebody might also try to test you uh, like about your grieving process. And it's like, yeah, you might have to forgive them because they might say something harsh to you. They might not be as nurturing. Like you see how nurturing this energy is with this rhino. This rhino is protecting this child. And I feel like that's what you need to be doing at this point in time. Forgive yourself, right? That's the vibe I'm giving. Forgive yourself. Nurture your inner child. Don't beat up on yourself and talk bad about yourself and like get so aggressive. Like, I don't know. Don't be so aggressive with yourself at this point in time throughout your grieving process. It's like be gentle with yourself. Nurture yourself. That's the vibe that I'm getting. That's what I'm hearing right now from Spirit. But now we're going to get into it with the Energy Oracle deck and just see what shows up really quick with the Energy Oracle for my lovely Libras. I saw a broken heart at the bottom of the deck, so I feel like your heart could be broken right now. Oh, but it's okay. Like, you're going to, like, it's going to mend. Over time, it, it will heal. The way your heart heals is by giving it some time, right? And loving it. Loving yourself through the process. Love is definitely going to heal the heart sooner and faster. So being gentle, being compassionate. What is love? What is love if you're not here with me? That's the vibe that I'm just, I'm receiving right now. It's like, you might be feeling like that. Like, what is love? And something is keeping you from taking action right now. But Spirit is asking you to take action on something. We got a woman holding a heart. So this is definitely the vibe. Number 44 card. I don't know. Somebody, you might have a mom that's 44 years old or a grandma, somebody that means a lot to you, a woman holding a heart though. I feel like this person is somebody that you love, that you hold near and dear to your heart. And ultimately they might have, like I said, fell out of your experience, moved on and transitioned. And yeah, I feel like right now it's kind of like, it's hard for you to move on or take some sort of action to heal. Like I said, you're going through grief right now. You're overcoming this. But a woman holding a heart is definitely also the energy of somebody that that could be around you that's not taking care of your heart properly. They don't have your best interest when it comes to love and heart in your heart. And I feel like that could be making somebody feel sad as well, too. But make sure that you are holding your heart gently and taking care of your your heart. Because that woman holding the heart energy is definitely giving me a, a sign or indicator that this feminine energy in your life, if it is from you or from somebody else, is just not being taken care of properly. So be mindful with your heart, protect your heart, hold it well, and don't give it to others that you feel, don't give people access to your heart that you feel are going to hurt you, like, you know, that don't really care about how you feel emotionally. The angel of strength is coming through, so yeah, right now the angel of strength is here to help you get through this time, to help you get through this time. You are very strong, you're showing up as strong, this is the energy of being compassionate and gentle, but firm, Right? Look at this lion. He ain't lying. He's going to protect you. You are being protected too. I feel like you are an angelic being. You are super protected, but the way you stay protected is by living in love and being pure, right? That pure energy is always going to have you protected. Bring it abundance your way too. But I do feel like right now there's a there's a strong energy of strength coming through to you. Like if you have been feeling a little bit weak, it's okay because the angel of strength is here to bring you some strength. Somebody is about to come into your life and if they're already not there and bring you some sense of strength here. We got the sun card showing up in reverse. So this is definitely a blockage in your creativity or like abundance. There's a lack here with this. Uh, it's like th this is supposed to represent a new beginning here. You might be seeing the angel number one, 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 two a lot. But here is like all about being mindful of what it is that you're creating and acknowledging the abundance in every moment the beauty in every moment, tapping into your gifts, sharing your gifts with the world. But I feel like the sun in reverse is definitely speaking to like a dark time or a cloudy time in your life where the sun might be hiding behind the clouds for you. Like things might just be feeling a little gloomy and sad. And then we got the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. So I do feel like your third eye chakra is blocked at this point in time. And that might be why you're having some mental fog and not able to clearly see the light or allow the light to shine through and your ideas are 
something is clouding you and it could be a lack of forgiveness. You might really be beating up on yourself and holding on to beating up on somebody else for mistreating you or doing something to you. And that's keeping this, the sun from shining on you. Gloom. But hostilities, yeah, see? Wow, you're going to have to forgive somebody for their hostile energy and make sure that you are not bringing that hostile energy to the platform because, yeah, if you haven't forgiven yourself or worked through that energy, then, yeah, I definitely see hostility showing up in the future. This is this is the energy of somebody being hostile. Once again, like I was saying, somebody just not being mindful of your grieving process or somebody saying something rude to you or getting aggressive with you. That's the vibe that I'm feeling here with this hostilities in. You might be finding it hard to forgive this person, but I see a man holding on her here. So this masculine energy here to protect you and love and care for you. So yeah, don't block it off by being um, too hostile. I do see that somebody could be coming in to really try to help you with, forgive yourself and heal. So yeah, try not to be too hostile at this time when that happens, when it shows up. Because I know when we're depressed or we're really sad or upset, yeah, it can definitely make us hostile. Then we got the uh, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. This is about your heart chakra. Your heart chakra, something. Somebody is going to penetrate your heart. Or reach, reach, be able to reach into your heart. That's the vibe that I'm feeling. I don't want to say penetrate because that sounds a little harsh, right? But I feel like somebody is definitely trying to break through and get through to your heart center. And it's like, are you going to allow them to? This is the energy of making sure that your heart chakra is in alignment. So focus on your heart. Hold your heart, Libra. Because like I said, I feel like it could be hurting right now. But it's healing too. And I do see that healing. Your heart chakra is glowing. Something is coming into your life to bring some more love. To, re to um, revamp you. To give you a greater sense of love once again. But um, also, this card is a, a symbol of love, compassion, and self-acceptance. So be able to accept yourself, love yourself, be compassionate towards yourself, and not allow these hostilities to get in the way of you forgiving yourself and really healing. If you don't forgive yourself, Libra, are you going? you're not going to really be able to heal. But I do see it happening, though. I feel like it's happening. Like you're very compassionate towards yourself in the future coming up. You're working through these hostilities, this negative energy, whatever it is, these people, this loss, this situation that has you in this rut, this energy. I do feel more lovely experiences coming. But it's through forgiveness. Spirit, let's clarify this. Oh, something wanted to jump out, but we're not done shuffling. What was that? The temperance card in reverse. Yeah, definitely stay in balance, moderating. And not getting too temperamental or losing control of yourself, staying solid in your energy, balancing the dark and the light, the good and the bad, the high and the lows is giving like a neutral energy, needing to be a little bit more neutral about a situation, objective. All right, spirit, let's see what's showing up here for Libras, woman holding a heart in reverse, please, clarity for that. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is definitely somebody uh, hmm, living a life. You have a whole life to be grateful for. A lot of resources here with this Nine of Pentacles. This is the energy of independence too. So I feel like right now you could be independent, solo, dolo riding. But this is the energy of you still needing to enjoy your life and all the blessings that you have, all the fruits that you still have here. I'm definitely feeling the energy of a lot of resources. The Queen of Cups is here. Ooh, the Queen of Cups is like some sort of therapist or somebody that's here to help soothe you with their emotions. And I feel like this is what is calling for you to do at this point in time. While you're solo dolo, enjoying nature, enjoying your life, giving gratitude to all the resources and blessings that you actually have, which will bring a pure energy around you, you can actually work through your emotions and really tap into the higher spiritual realms and move that energy and heal because the queen of cups is definitely a healing energy so i do feel like you're healing but you're going to have to heal through getting out into nature and cherishing your life and finding the beauty again and being finding contentment in your life enjoying your life getting this vibrant energy you might be dealing with a virgo or you might a virgo could be very significant to you, you might have virgo somewhere in your chart now, next we got the lovers. I'm seeing 96. Somebody could be, could have been born in 96. 
but I'm seeing the lovers here showing up. So the angel of strength here, some sort of love, some sort of connection is bringing some strength into your life. Something helping you grieve. I feel like this lover's car energy could also be that for some people, you might have been grieving and now a new person is trying to come into your life and actually help you get your strength back again. You might love this person. They could be very intimate and caring and reciprocal and bring harmony into your life. Just something that is really like, um, I don't know, you get fired up about this person. And this could be some, for some of my Libras, this could have been what it is that you have lost. And, and it's like, this is what you might be even grieving over. But the King of Swords is here to let you know too, um, there is power in being more objective, right? And not allowing your emotions to control you. So King of Swords energy, this could also be you dealing with someone that was an air sign, a masculine energy, a male that was a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here. Definitely with this lover's card, Gemini energy. I'm feeling Gemini. Somebody who isn't really that into their emotions, but they still care about what's right, right? But they're more logical. They're about principles. They're about focusing and speaking the truth about a situation, seeing the truth and not getting so wrapped up in the illusions. Definitely your energy as well, Libra. You are air sign. So yeah, definitely giving that vibe as well. Being mature, masculine and mature. The queen of pentacles definitely showing me that you have the ability to create something very amazing, something that's going to bring a lot of value into your life. That's what you're doing here. This Queen of Pentacles energy showing up next to the Nine of Pentacles is definitely giving me Earth sign energy again. But this is like a new beginning for you. Once again, the Queen of Pentacles can hold her own. It's like uh, you are able to get the money. What would Beyonce say? Strong enough to make bear the children, then get back to business. So yeah, after dealing with some, such a situation like giving birth, which can be very painful, liberating, and life-changing, just like any other major change in your life, I feel like it's all about being strong enough to um, continue to get back up and do it again and really take care of yourself in terms of your health and be of support to the world around you. Shine your light and the light will shine back on you. It's just like, you know, the world is a reflection of who you are. So this Queen of Pentacles is definitely giving me the energy of uh, luxury, though, being rich. But also a compassion energy. We got the Eight of Pentacles. So Pentacles is showing up a lot in your reading right now. Libra, you might be really focusing on your money or some sort of financial situation. I see it's working out for you. And somebody could be pregnant with this Empress energy. Somebody could really be pregnant or uh, working on getting pregnant. Or you might be even working while you are pregnant. But this is the energy of abundance. Once again, the Empress is very abundant. It's like impressive how abundant this Empress is. How much action she actually takes to bringing new things into the world um, that can actually help support the world, right? It's like abundant love. Something that's really lovely. Something that's beneficial here. But I definitely see birth. Somebody could definitely be um, committed to something, really focusing and perfecting their craft. I'm getting a, a very crafty energy. Eight of Pentacles in the 26. 26 equals eight. So I feel like there could be something that, that that makes you a little bit tense or aggressive in terms of your work. Like maybe somebody trying to distract you from your work or something getting in the way of your work is making you feel hostile. Because it's like when you really want to work and get the job done, but... You feel like um, normally I'm very easily able to do this. Like it can make you feel a little bit hostile or aggressive or have you feeling on edge. But I do see with this eight of pentacles, though, that there's a lot of um, work that you have been putting in, which is bringing you some some value, a lot of value into your life. Working on what is most important working through your emotions and giving yourself the time needed to actually get the job done here with this eight of pentacles. But I feel like you might have a lot on your plate as well. And that could be where the hostility is also coming from. So just forgive yourself. Five of Pentacles, definitely the vibe of, yeah, assistance coming out of this headspace. And then we got the King of Pentacles too. Yes. Okay. So I'm seeing counterpart energy. It's like you coming together and building an empire with somebody that sees things the same way that you do. Somebody that is really in tune with the family life, but also about business. It's like, I'm going to go get the money so I can support my family. I'm going to also take care of my family, nurture them, be compassionate towards them. It's not just about being the breadwinner, but also um, 
being the energetic provider. It's like, yeah, you want to be able to provide the financial aspect, but you also want to be able to provide the emotional, uh, the, the true support, you know, the support here on this earth for somebody. But I do feel like you're getting that support. A king of pentacles is coming into your life. This masculine energy that has a lot of money, a lot of time for you. And they're gentle with you. They care about you. Like, yeah. This five of pentacles energy is definitely telling me that there's some sort of assistance coming your way. And it could be from the divine. God is sending you something. The spirit is sending you something. The universe is sending you something to help support you in this time to help get your heart back centered. Keep your heart centered too. Stop focusing on these negative thoughts, Libra. Get out of that negative headspace. Um, and I feel like you are coming out of it, especially the more that you are making decisions from your heart and not from this hostile place of fear or just feeling like you don't have enough, this lack energy or like nobody's helping me right now or like I feel like I'm not being helped. That victim mentality. That's what I'm seeing here with the five of pentacles coming out of that. It's just like you're not... A victim, everything is happening for us, not to us, right? Just do your best to remember that. That could be a challenge, but it's really true. It's the truth. Um, and we have to face that all eventually at one point in time in our life. Like, you're going to have to face that, that that's the truth. Spirit, let's see from my DIY cards really quick. We got spiritual, yeah. So there's definitely a need for you to get in tune with your spiritual nature. I feel like you could be having a hard time. Dealing with that, something could be keeping you away from that, especially when you are grieving. When you're going through this sad period of time, there's definitely time for you to be more in tune with your spirit, get in tune with your spiritual side. That's what's going to bring you that strength. Don't just be so wrapped up in the physical. Realize that we are all spiritual beings. We all have a spirit. It's the spirit that is embodying this physical body that makes it animated. Without your spirit inside of the body, it's just a meat, it's just a decaying matter right is decaying matter so yeah spiritual the spiritual is always of ultimate importance because everything starts off as nothing before something so acknowledging spirit getting connected to spirit and knowing that all of us are spirits that are in these bodies that have to leave them at some point in time allow your energy and your spirit to flow freely be a free spirit that's the vibe that i'm feeling here Allow your spirit to be free, um, but phone off. Yeah, it could be time for you to turn your phone off a little bit. That could be bringing some sort of depression into your life. You could be comparing lifestyles. You might be in your phone to distract you. Your phone could be distracting you as well from really getting done what it is that you need to get done. But then look, we got big income coming in. So yes, yeah, see, especially with the five of pentacles showing up in reverse, that's a good thing. You need to cancel out some noise though either throw on your uh, noise cancellation earphones or just put that phone on D&D, &D, uh, put it on vibrate. Like, you know, get quiet for a minute, Libra. It's time for you to get quiet. Cancel out the noise. Whatever noise is in your ear, like whatever it is that I feel like it could be like voices, like your internal thoughts, right? Meditate. And it also could be a lot of noise around you, too, that's distracting you from your work with this Eight of Pentacles. So it's like, yeah, if you want to really lock in and get that income right and continue to build this empire, you got to kind of like cancel out the noise, right? Don't allow certain things to continue to dis distract you. Now we're going to pull a scenario card and we're going to close out this reading. I love you, Libras. I hope you've been resonating with this reading on some level. Let's see. What's the scenario? Yes. What's the scenario? Um. Oh, also, I'm, I don't know why I just heard, felt like somebody's phone is off. It could be like your service. You might need your phone bill paid or something like that. Or somebody could have turned off their phone or just turned off their phone because they didn't want to deal with people at this point in time. Yeah. But this says, I need to pay attention to my health. Mm. Blank will give me motivation to take care of myself. So right now, yeah, your health is of ultimate importance. And your health, your thoughts are tied to your health, right? The things that you think will lead to your actions. Depressed thoughts lead to you uh, making unwise decisions or unhealthy decisions, right? So what can help... Lee, Libra right now. I hope I haven't been saying Leo this whole, whole time. Ugh. What can help Libra right now get motivated to take care of themselves and their health? Because like your heart, like literally taking care of your heart. 
I don't know why I'm feeling like heart health could be the issue for somebody. It says telling assholes to fuck off. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because once again, with that woman holding the heart in reverse, I feel like, yeah, if you got somebody that's in your life, a feminine energy that's in your life that's like mean to you, they don't give a fuck about your, your emotions and energy, yes, tell them to fuck off. Tell them to F off, period. And also focusing on yourself, like not giving energy to these negative people because that could be hurting your heart too, which is affecting your health. And then we got lying naked in the grass. Okay, that's being a little much, but I don't know if you're willing to do that, Libra. But hey, this is the message that's coming through for you in your scenario. Right now, laying naked in the grass could definitely heal you. This is one thing too. I don't know how what the temperature is looking like where you're at, but that's a form of grounding yourself. Laying naked in the grass is a, a, a grounding practice. So if you've been feeling a little bit off kilter, like spiritually disconnected, you have to do some sort of grounding processes, some sort of grounding practices to bring you back in alignment with your spirit. Laying naked in the grass can reconnect you to the world, the earth, life around you if you've been feeling a little bit aloof, right? And then with this Queen of Pentacles, she's definitely all about nature. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Definitely giving that energy. So lying naked in the grass or just really grounding yourself, maybe taking your feet, your shoes off and just stepping out into the grass and meditating and allowing your feet to be planted on bare earth for some time, right? To reconnect you to this earth plane, to bring you back into this this place of clarity so that you can really know what steps to take to move forward in terms of your health and taking care of yourself, Libra. So, yeah, I'm definitely seeing a lot of income, something incoming, a lot of financial advancement, a lot of love, healing, letting go of the past because it's like you can't bring that with you. You got to live in the present moment. But if you're so stuck in the past, you're missing out on new, fresh experiences and moments. So, yeah, hopefully you guys resonated with this reading on some level. Thank you so much for being here all the way to the end of the video. If you are hearing this message, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not already, it would mean a lot to me and it does help this channel and it helps other people get access to these videos. Other Libras that might be a, be needing to resonate with this or needing to find this video. So your help here is really appreciated and I love you so much. Until the next read, peace, love, and prosperity.